Fox here with Zippo Encore, and I'm here with the lovely Lee Bryce. Yeah. The tailgate bug, just a sip of no suds, ain't never too early to light one up, fill up your cup, cause I ain't no party like the pre-party, and after the party, the after party, and the parking lot party. So I'm gonna get into this right now, 2013 has been your year. Oh. Three hit singles. We got a new album. We got a marriage. Yeah. We got new tattoos. New tattoos. Let's talk about the tattoos. Of the marriage. So, what are these numbers? My first number one as a songwriter. Beautiful. More than a memory. And then the second one is 82508. That's my son's birthday. And then this is uh, 42112. That's my first number one as an artist. And there's like two separate things that I've been going for my whole life, you know, and uh, musically. And then this last one. Um, it's my wedding day, and it just it just passed. In fact, I'd gotten the tattoo like seven or eight days before we got married, so I was hoping that you know, she actually went through with it. <laughs> You're like, you find a way to change the yeah, right? She changed her mind, but she did it. She That's did right. It. We, get, we did good. I, Boom. Got my ring. Oh, beautiful. That's right. I like that. Is it custom? Yeah, it's it is. beautiful. Does it match hers? She, she's got some black diamond bands that go around her. That's wicked. I like that. Did you happen to plan this on purpose? No, I didn't, and I didn't even know it was happening until they were going down, 421, 421. That's wicked. This happened to happen to happen. That's really cool. So, we're on tour. Yeah. Are you excited about tour? Yeah, this is going to be, um, I mean, Brad is the best, you know, he's, he's been doing this for so long, I can't wait to watch him yeah. learn and, uh, and have a ball, and, and he's just a great guy as well, and, awesome. and uh, so, I mean, Chris Young's out here, and we're buddies, so we're going to... Try not to party too hard. And, right. And, uh, but, you know, being out here on a good, it's nice to be on a schedule. You know, get on a tour and it has nice catering and you know, you're able to, like, get on a schedule and it feels a little bit like home. So it's going to be nice. Yeah. What is your favorite thing about tour? Uh, well, One favorite thing. Playing. I mean, mm -hmm. we do all of We do all of this this whole life so that we can get on that stage and, right. and play music. And that's the, that's the fun part. That's the real fun part. I mean, interviews are fun and all. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? <laughs> But uh, but we do this for the music. And what's your least favorite thing about tour? Well, being gone. Yeah. Um, I got a four year old at home Aww. and a new wife, and so being home a couple days a week isn't enough. You know? Totally. So uh, that's the worst part. Do you have any scary tour stories you want to share with all oh, of us? Oh man. <laughs> you know what? We've had all there's all kind of stories. There's too many to get into. But we're probably. I'm just a little worried. They say Brad is is a, a big time prankster. So. Oh no. So. I'm trying to just get my arsenal ready for okay. payback because I know he's going to bring bring on the Franks at some point. You hear that, Brad Paisley? He's ready for you. Ready. He's prepared. Now, uh, I heard a rumor that uh, you had some fans tattoo the word "redneck" in, <laughs> um, on them. Can you talk about that? Uh, yeah, we do a song. I wrote a song called "Red Naked," mm -hmm. and a long time ago, and we did it every show for a long, long, long time. And uh, some fans came up to me, and these two girls—they were sisters—and uh, they. They, uh, they said, hey, Lee, look what we got. And they pulled their, they showed me their ankles, and they had red neck and tattooed on their awesome. ankle. And I was like, oh, that's Ooh. awesome. <laughs> but where'd you get the spelling? They said, oh, we took it right off your set list, right off the stage. I was like, well, I don't write those set lists. My keyboard player writes those, and he don't spell that that, that song right. No. So, but... I think I'm going to change the, the spelling of the song just for them. So That's yeah, amazing. I, I love that. <laughs> you created a custom Zippo lighter. I did. Let's talk about that. Man, I just, you know, I like the, <laughs> I, I did it. I wanted it to be kind of classic, you know, just silver. and But then I'm, I'm, I'm kind of proud to be, you know, I'm really proud to be from South Carolina. And uh, that's a big part of who I am. And, and uh, so I just did like a, you know, a South Carolina palm tree and a crescent moon on one side and the, and the, the South Carolina blue and then my logo on the back. I want to be real simple. I'm kind of a simple guy, but I think that's going to be kind of cool. I like that. That's really cool. That's cool, too, because, you know, it's easy to spot. You can be up on stage. Yeah. You see your fans flip the Zippo lighter, and you're like, that's my stuff. <laughs> that's my lighter. I can't wait. That'll be really cool. Um, I also want to talk to you about uh, 2013. Mm -hmm. It's been a great year for you. Yeah. Um, I also want to talk to you about, you know, you have this new album. You've been kicking butt, as I might say. Uh, what's your favorite part about writing an album? When you sit down, like, what are some things that you need? What are some, like, the environment, all that stuff? Well, you know, just, it's a process, a long process, and there's, yeah. there's a lot of different uh, places where we write, a lot of different places where we record, and, uh, but the best part is just the whole process itself. It's just really fun. It's like putting together a, you 
know, I, I, I puzzle, but, but it's art, you know, and so there's all kind of pieces that fit in different ways, and, and so that's, that's my favorite part is producing and putting one together. Um, uh, it's so fun because it changes every day all the time until finally you look up a year later and you're like, oh, this is it. This is how it's supposed to go. These are the songs that's supposed to be on it. These are how they're supposed to sound and uh, make up a full body of work. So I'm actually starting now on my next album that'll be out a year from now, and I've been working hard on it already and spending hours and hours just looking at songs and figuring out which ones I want to do. And, and uh, So the whole process itself is just a ball. Let me ask you this. Do you have a song, uh, an album title for the new uh, album? I, I can help you I think it. I do. I think I do. There's a special song that I wrote um, for, actually, it was our first dance at our wedding. It's called I Don't Dance. Oh, I love and, that. And uh, I, think, I think that may be the title track to the next album, I Don't Dance. I like that. I have an idea. Um, since <laughs> your uh, album was called Hard to Love, since you're married, now you should title it Love is hard. <laughs> love is hard. You know what I mean? Hey, it is sometimes. <laughs> you know? Sometimes love is, is uh, war. Love is hard. But you stick to it, That's you know? Right. It's hard. You work. You work, you work. You know, love is hard. It may be, uh, it might have clicked. I saw a little sparkle in your eyes. Come on. So, you know? <laughs> so, hard to love. I gotta ask. I feel like you're like a big teddy bear. You're so nice. <laughs> I haven't asked your wife this, but what do you think that you're hard to love? What well, made you just want to... Well, uh, you know, that it? song, I think we all are a little hard to love. Right. Crazy women and stupid men. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and that's kind of where I wanted to be able to reach everybody. But myself, personally, we touched on it before, but the hardest part about me as of right now, I think, to love, hopefully, is the fact that, 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 that I'm gone so much. And that, that really is a deal that, you know, Sarah's very family oriented and so am I and so being have being home and it being a family is a big deal to her so I just really that's the hardest thing right now is being gone that's kind of hard to love totally I agree with that but she sounds like a really strong woman yeah so she is she's awesome she's awesome that's a plus so let me ask you this in 10 years where do you see Libras <sighs> well 10 buses and 10 <laughs> trucks and, and uh you know tours all over the world that's what I want that's what I want to do and and uh, I want to I want to play music and make music that matters. And uh, I'm just lucky to be to doing it at all. At all. So, in 10 years from now, I'm still just maybe just writing songs in Nashville. I'll be happy. But but I see myself continuing on, and I see visions of what the next album is going to do. I think it can be better than Hard to Love. And, I love uh, that. And, uh, it will be better. You know, and make it better and better. I mean, you know, grow. So uh, just hopefully, I'm just a better all around guy, musician. And, Happy. Happy. I like that. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you so you. much for this interview. Yeah. Are we going to high five? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you and good luck with your tour. Jamie Foxx, out. Because I ain't no party like the pre-party and after the party, the after party.